Welcome to Math Contest Drills for Filipino Kids. In this presentation, let us show the solution to MTOP 2024 Elimination Round for Grade 9 students. This is Part 4 of 5 Parts, Numbers 31 to 40. Let us begin with question number 31. Given triangle ABC with AB equals BC equals A, and the included angle B has measured 30 degrees, find the value of CA squared. For our solution, let us draw triangle ABC with AB equals BC. Each has measured 8 units, and angle B, the included angle, has measured 30 degrees. Since we have a triangle given two sides and an included angle, to find the measure of the side opposite the given angle, we will use the cosine law. Using the cosine law, we have AC squared is equal to AB squared, that is 8 squared plus BC squared, that is also 8 squared, minus 2 times the length AB and BC, that will be 2 times 8 times 8 times cosine function 30 degrees, that's angle B. So we have 8 squared is 64. 2 times 8 times 8 is 128. And cosine 30 degrees is the square root of 3 over 2. 64 plus 64 is 128. And 128 over 2 is 64. Then we have 128 minus 64 is square root of 3. That is AC squared. Number 32. Find the equation of the parabola, y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c, whose vertex is at 1, negative 6, and a y-intercept of 10. For our suggested solution, let us use the vertex form of the equation of the parabola that is equal to a times x minus h squared plus k where hk is the vertex, or the vertex is at hk. So we have vertex at 1, negative 6. And since the y-intercept is 10, the parabola passes through the point 0, 10. When x is equal to 0, y is equal to 10. Let us substitute these values. Then we have y is 10 equals a times x is 0 and h is equal to 1 and then k is negative 6. Solving for a, we have 10 plus 6 is equal to a or a is equal to 16. Then substituting a is equal to 16, also the vertex at 1 negative 6 to the vertex form of the equation of the parabola, we have y is equal to 16 times x minus 1 squared minus 6. x minus 1 squared is x squared minus 2x plus 1 minus 6. Then we have y is equal to 16x squared minus 32x plus 16 minus 6. And this is equal to 16x squared minus 32x plus 10. Number 33. The sum of two numbers is 7 thirds. The sum of their reciprocals is 7 halves. What is the product of the two numbers? Our solution, let x and y be the two numbers. Then we have x plus y is equal to 7 thirds. 
let this let this be our equation one also the sum of their reciprocals is seven halves so we have one over x plus one over y is equal to seven halves let this be our equation two if we're looking for the product of the two numbers then we're looking for the value of x y from equation two we have x plus y over xy is equal to 7 halves. Deriving this equation for xy, we have xy is equal to 2 times x plus y over 7. Since x plus y is equal to 7 thirds from equation 1, we have xy is equal to 2 times 7 thirds over 7. Then we have 14 over 3 divided by 7. That is multiplied by 1 over 7. 14 over 7 is equal to 2. Then we have xy is equal to 2 thirds. Number 34. The area of the square will increase by 24 square meters if the length is increased by 2 meters. What is the length of the original square? For our suggested solution, let L be the length of the side of the square. So we have L squared plus 24 is equal to L plus 2 squared. Since the area of the square is the square of its side, then L squared is increased by 24 if the length is increased by 2. So we have L squared plus 24 equals, on the right hand side, L squared plus 4L plus 4. L squared minus L squared is 0. Then subtract 4 from both sides, we have 20 is equal to 4L. Dividing both sides by 4, we get L is equal to 5 meters. Number 35. The quadratic function f of x is equal to 2x squared plus bx plus c is such that the sum of its roots is negative 4 and the product of the roots is negative 3. Find the value of b plus c. For our suggested solution, we know that the sum of the roots of a quadratic equation is equal to negative of b over 2a. Then we have negative of b over 2 times 2 is equal to negative 4. From here, we have b is equal to 16. The product of the roots is equal to c over a. Then we have c over 2 is equal to negative 3. Then multiplying both sides by 2, we get c is equal to negative 6. Therefore, b plus c is equal to 16 plus negative 6. And this is equal to 10. Number 36. Solve for x in the equation. The square root of 100 minus x equals 3 times the square root of x plus 4. For our suggested solution, let us square both sides of the given equation. Then we have 100 minus x equals 9 times x plus 4. On the right-hand side, we have 9x plus 36, applying distributive property of multiplication over addition. So we have negative 9x minus x equals 36 minus 100. Negative 10x is equal to negative 64. Dividing both sides by negative 10, we get x is equal to 64 over 10 
or this is 6.4. Number 37. An egg is dropped from the top of a building 40 meters high. The height of the egg is t seconds after it is released is given by 40 minus 4.9 t squared meters. How long will it take the egg to be broken on the sidewalk of the building? For our solution, for the egg to be broken on the sidewalk of the building means that the egg has reached the ground. Therefore, the height is equal to zero. Then we have the equation 40 minus 4.9 t squared is equal to zero. Then we have 40 is equal to 4.9 t squared by addition property of equality. Let us divide both sides by 4.9 so that we have t squared is equal to 40 over 4.9. Now let us multiply both numerator and denominator in the right hand side to get rid of the decimal point. So we have t squared is equal to 400 over 49. Getting the square root of both sides, we will get t is equal to 20 over 7 seconds. Number 38. Point E lies on the diagonal AN of rectangle JAUN such that EU is the altitude of triangle AUN. Find the length of EU if JA equals 20 and AU equals 10. For our solution, let us draw rectangle JAUN. Then on diagonal AN of this rectangle lies point E such that EU is the altitude of triangle AU, the altitude of triangle AUN. JA is equal to 20 and AU is equal to 10. Now we're looking for the length of segment EU. Notice that AN is the diagonal of the rectangle and it is the hypotenuse of triangle NJA. Then this is equal to the square root of 20 squared plus 10 squared that is the square root of 500. On the figure we have triangle EAU or AEU similar to triangle NJA. So we have triangle AEU similar to triangle NJA. From this similarity, we have the ratio EU over AU equals JA over n a substituting the values we have e u over a u that is equal to 10 and j a is 20 then n a or a n is the square root of 500 then we have e u is equal to 10 times 20 that is 200 over 500 is a square root of 500 is 10 times the square root of 5 200 over 10 is equal to 20 then rationalizing the denominator we multiply both numerator and denominator by the square root of 5. So we have EU is equal to 20 square root of 5 over 5 or this is equal to 4 times square root of 5 units. Number 39. Jack and Jill have candies in the ratio 5 to 6. 
After eating 5 candies each, the ratio becomes 4 to 5. How many candies does Jill have left? For our solution, let x be the scale factor. So we have Jack with 5x candies and Jill with 6x candies. After eating 5 candies each, we'll have 5x minus 5 over 6x minus 5 equal to 4 over 5. Using cross multiplication, we have 25x minus 25 equals 24x minus 20. Then we have 25x minus 24x equals 25 minus 20. x is equal to 5. Since Jill has 5 times or 6 times 5 candies minus 5, then Jill will only have 25 candies left. Number 40. In trapezoid CATS, CR is equal to 7 and RT is equal to 9. Find the value of CA if TS is equal to 22.5. Our solution, notice that we have similar triangles from trapezoid CATS. That is triangle CAR is similar to triangle TSR. CR is equal to 7, TR is equal to 9, and CA is equal to 22.5. Now, from the similar triangles, we have, or TS is equal to 22.5. Now, from the similar triangles, we have CA over TS equal to CR over TR. Substituting the values, we have CA over 22.5 equals CR is 7 and TR is 9. Multiplying both sides by 22.5, we have CA is equal to 7 times 22.5 over 9. 22.5 divided by 9 is 2.5. Therefore, CA is equal to 7 times 2.5 and that is equal to 17.5. That will be all. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more math contest drills for Filipino kids videos.